Hey there foodies, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a good day today. So today I want you to join me in the kitchen to make some delicious chicken patties. And this is how I know to make my chicken patties. So here I have my chicken. This is chicken breast that I've cut up into large cubes. I've already washed it, clean it, and drained it very well to wash my chicken i just soaked it down with some lemons salt flour vinegar and some broadleaf thyme for about 20 minutes and then i rinsed it very good and i allowed it to drain very well and for my chicken i like to steam it out with a little bit of ingredients and then i process it in the food processor to grind it up so to steam out my chicken today i have one teaspoon of salt one bay leaf, one teaspoon of green seasoning, and about six cloves. The cloves helps to cut the rankness from the chicken or any type of meat when you're steaming it out, so I like to add it. So I have my water heating up on the stove. Let's head on over and start steaming the chicken. Okay, so my water is nice and hot now. I'll add all of my seasonings and aromatics. chicken is finished steaming it steamed for about 30 minutes what I did I drained it and I let it sit for about an additional 10 minutes so all the additional liquid can come out because when you're gonna put it in the food processor here you want to have it as dry as possible I added half of what I steamed so what I'm gonna do I'll give you a couple pulses starting to break up already but I want this to be really fine right so I'll just continue to pulse it until I have the desired size that I like in the chicken and I'll come back and show you what that is like okay so I'm satisfied with how the chicken looks I'll show you a little bit of it so you see it's like grind it up but there's still like little tiny chunks of it this is how i like it so what i'm gonna do i'll continue to pause the rest of it and then i'll show you what i put in it to fry it up so see you in a few minutes okay so i finished processing the chicken in the fruit processor see how nice and crumbly it is i like to do it in a fruit processor because it's quick less than two minutes your chicken is done processing so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna fry this up with some seasonings and vegetables and i'll tell you what i have here so here i have my sweet corn peas and carrots you can put whatever um, choice of vegetables that you like i just like to do this type of vegetable here i have half a teaspoon of chicken bouillon half a teaspoon of aji one teaspoon black pepper one teaspoon green seasoning one teaspoon paprika three tablespoons of salt two tablespoons of oil one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of salt, two and a half tablespoons of tomato paste. I have some weary peppers cut up here. This is about a tablespoon. I have half a cup of green onions and half a cup of white onions. So let's head on over to the stove and start frying this mixture. Okay, so my wok is heated up. I'll add my oil. Let that heat up for a couple seconds. I'll add my chicken bouillon and my onions. So for my onions, what I want to happen is I want to brown the onions and build flavors. So I'm gonna let this fry until it starts getting brown on the edges and then I'll add in my vegetables and the chicken and everything else at the same time. So I'll see you in a few minutes with that. Happens. 
Okay, so my onions brown up really nicely on the edges. What I'll do, I'll add my vegetables. For the vegetables, it's one tin of the sweet corn and one tin of the carrot and peas. Let this fry for a minute just to let all of the, like any excess liquid to come out. I'll add my peppers. If you don't want to add this much pepper, it's okay. You can reduce it or take it out completely. But I like when my chicken patties has a little spiciness to it. Processor did it really nicely. Give it a mix. Add all my other spices in them. Ajji, black pepper, green seasoning, paprika. Sugar, salt, garlic powder, onion powder. I gave it a taste and all of the measurements for the seasonings that I give was on point. I didn't need to add anything else. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this off the heat now and let it cool down completely because you can't put hot filling in the pastry dough. It's going to mess with the texture. So I'll just pour this out in a bowl to cool down and then we'll start doing our dough. So see you in a few minutes. Okay, so it's time to put our pastry crust together. So here I have six cups of all-purpose flour, one and a half cups of ice cold water, one cup of butter, one cup of sharpening, two tablespoons of sugar, one teaspoon salt, and I just have some additional flour for dusting here. So what I'm gonna do, I'll go in with my salt and my sugar, and I'll give this a whisk. Just to combine all the flavors in here, I'm gonna add my sharpening. And with my clean hands, I'll work this into the flour. You can use your food processor for this as well. I just like to do it with my hands because I get to feel how the fats are worked in, into the flour. So I'm gonna to continue to work this in and then we'll add the butter and repeat this step. See you in a minute. I'll add my butter. And repeat the same step of working this in. So I'll come back when I have all of the fats completely worked into the flour. Okay, so our butter and shortening has been mixed into the flour. Basically what you're doing is this the entire time until it's fully combined and you have like a grainy like sand texture. So I'm just gonna scrape the bottom off and make sure everything is there. And one thing you can do since you need to have really cold water to mix this you can put your water in the fridge and then just take it back out when you're ready to actually make the dough so i'm just gonna make a little hole in the center what i'm gonna do i'll add this water a little bit at a time so 
work this in. And this, you do not need this though. You pull it together. So you pull and pinch, right? So I'll continue to add the water here and I'll come back and show you what it looks like after coming together. So see you in a few minutes. Okay, so our dough came together really nicely and it's nice and soft. What I'm gonna do, I'll just put it on my surface here. And I'll just bring it together. You're not kneading, remember, no kneading. You're just picking it up and pushing it together like this. Kneading would be taking your hands and going like this. Just pick it up and press down. And this, you don't need to do a lot of mixing or a lot of like overworking the dough because you're gonna make the dough get very tough. So as you can see, if I do this, see how soft it is? Okay, so what I like to do, I like to wrap the dough in some cling wrap. Wrap it up very tightly because you don't want too much air to get into it. And I'll put this in my refrigerator for 25 to 30 minutes to let it rest because it makes it much easier to roll out the pastry. And I'll, I'll come back in 25 to 30 minutes and we'll start rolling out to make the chicken patties. So see you at that time. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes since our dough has been resting in the fridge. What I'm gonna do, I'll take it out of the cling wrap. I'll divide it into two. Look at all those layers the butter created. Looks good, right? So I'll take this half out and I'll keep the remaining half wrapped because I don't want it to get dry. I'll put this to the side, bring this into a ball. What I'm gonna do now, I'll just flour my surface lightly just to make sure that it doesn't stick when I'm gonna roll it out. Just gonna press it out a little bit. And I'll roll it out. Try to roll this as thin as you possibly can because pastry dough for patties is not really a thick crust. It's a nice thin flaky crust. So I'm gonna continue to roll this out and then I'll come back when it's time to cut it up. So see you in a few minutes. Okay, so my pastry is nice and rolled out. What I have is just a biscuit cutter. You can use anything that's round to cut it out. Cause today I'm gonna do like the round flat chicken patties. I have the pan, but I'm not gonna do the pan today. I'm just gonna do the regular ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut circles out. And then I'll come back when it's time to fill them. Okay, so I have all of my circles cut out. I just removed the excess pastry crust. And here I have my fill-in. It's all cooled down now. So basically for every circle, you're gonna use one to put the chicken fill-in and then another one to put it over. So I'll do one and I'll show you guys how much fill-in I put. I'll choose this one. So I'm gonna put one scoop. I'll take one of these, stretch it out a little bit, cover it over, and I'll pat it down. And to seal the edges, I'll just take a fork and go around it. Because the crust is so soft, it'll seal really well with the fork. And then I'll just take the pastry cutter and cut off any excess so it can be nice and neat on the edges. I'll continue to do this for the rest of the pastry dough and the chicken filling and I'll come back and show you what I do before putting it in the oven. So see you then. Okay, so I finished um, making some of the patties here. What I like to do before putting it into the oven, I'll take the egg whites of two eggs 
at 350 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes or until golden brown. These don't take very long to bake because you can see how thin the crust is. So see you when they're done baking. Here we have our delicious chicken patties. They baked up really nice. As you can see, they're very golden. I'm gonna break into one for you guys. I don't know if you can hear that crackle, but it's so crispy and it's so filled inside with delicious chicken. I tasted one of these already. I need to stop myself from eating them. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. Do give it a try. Definitely like it, share it, and comment on the channel. Don't forget to subscribe. And for all my other recipes, do give them a try if you'd like to have something delicious to eat. Thank you guys for watching today. See you on the next delicious recipe.